Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough to further build suspense here. There are two more fusions that you can do at this point in time, which involve first being a Minish. And I would like to get them done before the Temple of Droplets because these two fusions unlock after you get the flippers for whatever reason. I don't know why. But yeah, let's go through here. Meet up with this Minish. What is it? What do you want from me? You're after my bean, aren't you? Well, I'll never tell you what it is. It's mine! Mine! Do you hear me? Mine! But I suppose if you confuse a kin song with me, I might tell you. Yeah. How is it? Did I sound like an elder? I've been practicing my elders. Yes! <laughs> so, yeah, he's actually not that mean of a forest minish. Mm -hmm. I don't have access to the spot right now. But... You'll know it when I show you how to get there later. This is way, way in the middle of the woods in Lake Hylia, which is through an underground path. Hey, a perfect fuse! Maybe we'll get lucky now! You mean I'll be lucky! Ha ha ha! Alright, so the other one that I'll be fusing with is also in Lake Hylia here. And... You may know him as... David Jr. Yep. 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 Him. <laughs> I have a new kidstone. I have new kidstone pieces from Tingle. But to tell you the truth, I'd rather be out adventuring like you. And what's with these crazy clothes? He makes us all wear anyway. <laughs> Maybe it's not a willing thing that he's wearing the clothes after all. It seems like Tingle has David Jr. as a slave of sorts. Anyway, this makes a chest appear at the Minish Path next to the Malari Mines. Yeah, way way at Mount Krennel there, that's relatively easy to get to, but... I don't really feel like doing that right now. Because it's more backtracking, and since I got all the fusions done that I need to do at this point in the game... Let's just go on to the next dungeon, shall we? We've done enough side questing for now. I did all the stuff that I have to do, so let's shrink! And enter the Temple of Droplets, the game's fourth dungeon. Woo! Yep, it's a Minish dungeon. Spooky. And it's an ice dungeon, as you could tell from the outside. Oh, I'm freezing in here. If you don't find an element quickly, I'm going to turn into a hatsicle. Hurry up, Link. All right, so we see right off the bat... Yep, it's the boss door. And there's some leaves. Oh, what? This floor is made out of ice! Be careful not to fall and freeze your backside to the floor, Link. More dangerously, it's. I mean, what's more dangerous is actually falling into the hole rather than falling over. In fact, you can't really fall over. <laughs> anyway, go up here because that is the path that we need to take here. And, oh, geez, no, you don't. Evil pots. Never trust that. A pot. Going to an antique store's never ever trust the pots. They might be flung at you when you least expect it. So you know, you see that there's a light, as well as some sort of trapdoor looking thing. Well, that indeed has a purpose. You push this, and it opens that trapdoor. And now we have to do. Hey, that sunlight is shining through. Ah, it's so nice and warm. I can feel my stuff starting feel myself starting to defrost again. And that's a hint of what you need to do here. We need to get that key inside the ice block to that sunlight. Hmm, it looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice. Link, why don't you go take a look? I can see what's inside it. Just that. nope, nope, nope. There we go. And all you have to do is push it like this, push it like that, it'll melt, and you have access to the key. Voila! Alright, now that we have ye ol' key, we can make ye ol' progress through ye ol' lock door. Back here. No! <laughs> Why? No! <laughs> Dang you! And needless to say, we gotta fall down here. Because there's no other way through. Um, that's to get back. There's the boss key already. Yeah, already the boss key. Interesting, no? Um, 
What you want to do here is this, uh, uh, this, this. Gotta set this up ahead of time so the boss key can have some place to stop at. Because as you can tell, when you push the block, it doesn't stop until it hits, until it hits some sort of wall. Alright. There we go. And we are home free. Voila. And before you go up, be sure to close the hatch, otherwise you will not be able to get through. That's what that little uh, button or switch is for. See? Now we can cross. And there we go. No, no, no. Dang you. I don't think you get a prize for killing all the enemies in this room. I'm just doing it just to... Just for the fun of it, I guess. Okay. Oh, jeez. No. Pottery Barn is my enemy. <laughs> mm, Alright. That's the end of the dungeon. We are up to the boss. Let's go through and face it off. Uh, this is not a boss. Hey! Well done, Link. This looks to be the element, alright. But what will we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We need to melt it off somehow. Uh, well, nope, I guess it's not the boss after all. Nope, not the boss after all. Hmm, I guess there's more dungeoning to do. Is that a word, dungeoning? <laughs> well, I, I guess it could possibly be a new word. Language isn't, like, a thing that... Like, language isn't a thing that has rules, per se, to it. We make our own language. <laughs> And we also explore dungeons. Uh, I think this is the... I don't know. I was gonna say, I think this is the dead end. Ah, dungeon map. Glad I came here first. Just to make sure I don't miss anything when I get the compass. And here we gotta start taking advantage of our swimming powers by pressing the B button to go underwater. Keep that in mind for a little bit later, because we act we're actually gonna need to dive underwater to get something. Uh-oh. How dare you. <laughs> uh, over here is... Yeah, I can't do that right now, so I thought. Uh, there's a waterfall. I'm gonna have to fall down with the lily pad, but that's for a little bit later. No, 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 I don't think so. Not going to happen. And why do I still have my ocarina out? I do not know. <laughs> oh, now we press this. And we can fall here. That uh, climbable wall up off on the left side there is for a, um, it's the return trip basically. Open this up. The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Oh, I don't trust pots. We went through this before, I don't trust pots. Hmm, there's this pot-shaped looking thing there. Yep, dive. There we go. It's a small key, which you can use to open the, the door up on the other floor. And doop. Dang, spiky wheels. You can never trust them either. You expect them to stay in place, but nope, they roll right towards you. Uh, it's kind of amazing how an inanimate object could roll like that. I don't see any mechanics of it either, but I'm probably questioning game logic too much here, so I should probably stop. <laughs> And unlock. Sesame. Pressing this button will open the floodgates. Well, it's not so much a floodgate as it is a uh, uh, pathway for the lily pad to go. Oh, and it's not this waterfall. I mean, I thought there was a waterfall down on this side for some reason, but no, you have to drop the lily pad down the other side. Because this will allow you to move forward in the other area. Like, remember, I wasn't able to get up on that ledge where the pot was because I wasn't able to walk up to it. I should say swim up to it. Yep. That's what the lily pad is for. In fact, the lily pad is for quite a lot of things in this dungeon. In fact, it's for something rather annoying. Uh, this is tricky. Well, kind of tricky. Yeah, go, 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 go! <laughs> Yeah, no, no, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. No wasting time with the lily pad. Now, button. Opens path. 
And we have access to more stuff now. Nope, nope. Uh, over here's a matter pillar, right? Yeah. Boop. Oh, oh, said boop. This is a really annoying matter pillar to take care of, because you have these webs would bounce you around on the ice, as well as the ice itself, and it's just very difficult to get to its tail and tongue. Oh, got it. Not too shabby. That opens the door up there. Which we can use to get the compass. Oh yeah. And now we got ourselves good old dungeon checklist. Hmm? This dungeon is going relatively smoothly so far, but I probably shouldn't say that actually, because I'm probably gonna end up messing up terribly later just because I said that. <laughs> um Hmm. I'm just trying to think what, what I want to do here. Hmm. What is... Okay, it is a dead end. Okay, I just wanted to be sure of that. So, continue the path. Solve the puzzles. Get the prize. Well, maybe not so much a prize as it is... Prizes, because there's a bunch of stuff to get in here. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no! Guess park your lily pad here. And now we gotta get a button. I mean, pff, we gotta get a block on the switch. Because if you go off it, yeah, that's what happens. Don't worry, it's not, not hard to do. But still remember that uh, ice physics apply and it will uh, blocks will not stop unless they hit something. So if I were to push this block left, it would fail because it didn't it would it would, wouldn't have anywhere to stop. It would just go right over the button and it wouldn't work. So instead, push this block around... Ring around the rosy, this middle block. And I think you can take it from here. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. Nope. Ice physics. Annoying. Alright. Moving on. Now, what's this way? I think this is something I need. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back through here again once I get the dungeon item. Uh, and I, I will actually have to come through here all over again with the lily pad and everything. Get, stop, no, bad, how dare you. No, no stop it, no, damn. <laughs> yeah, th this variety tends to like to grab you and that's what makes them so annoying. Well, on top of them wanting to throw rocks on your head. Alright, got that. Let's see here, that I can't do anything about just yet. That's another thing I'll have to come back through here for. Um, this is a... Uh, yeah, just a couple of pots. Probably contains some... No, 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 no. Probably contains some hearts, actually. Could probably use some hearts. No hearts. Uh. <laughs> well, I have a fairy in my possession. I got one uh, off-camera. Just to speed things up from one of the many fairy fountains I unlocked. And oh, jeez. Be careful. Link, where are you? Are you just still there under me? How how is that possible that he wouldn't be under oh never mind. It's so dark I can't see my beak in front of my face. Watch your step. I don't want you to trip over anything. Or fall down this chasm. Yeah, you gotta look out for the edges of here. Because you might fall down the hole and we all know down is death. So let's just shimmy our way through there. And just leave that room for now. Actually, I kind of think that I don't think there is anything to do in that room. Yeah. Oh, there is a, another path through there later, but it's not. It's not where. I mean, it's, there's not going to be any way to cross over that chasm uh, from this side. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. More snarly pincers, scissor beetles. Arr, 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 arr. Stop it. Don't you dare think you are going to destroy me, for I will destroy you before that will happen, <laughs> as I run right into you. <laughs> and this is where we get the dungeon item. Oh, what? This isn't where we... Oh, never mind. It's a couple rooms ahead. My mistake. This is where we get the warp back to the beginning. Don't worry, we can always warp back here a little bit later. And, oh, actually, my camera's batteries are running kind of low, so maybe it's a good time to stop here since I got the 
the warp and everything all set up. So, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.